After riding over 1,000 kilometers, we decided to enjoy the coast for a bit, since that was how I had learned Mariska this way initially. Hey, wanna go to the beach in Poland? We're settled in here and now we're gonna check out the beach. And today there's actually very little wind. Yesterday was insane. <laughs> we're back at the same place, uh, but uh, more casual. Welcome to the northern Polish coast. Tak. The wind is picking up here. <laughs> and when in Poland, you have to be like Polish. They just got here and in no time they built their defenses. <laughs> so he's brought this scarf along. We got some sticks. When in Rome. Join me on the other side. We're good now. Inspired. Inspired by the locals. I was impressed by the Polish Baltic coast. Wide beaches, white sand, and the Baltic Sea is barely salty, with clear blue water. Outside of Ustroni Morski, there is still that wild, untouched coast to be discovered, where the sea still meets the forest. <laughs> Well, you honor the hut with an extra stick. There you go. It all worked out in the universe. And there's some historic surprises there too, like abandoned naval cannon bunkers built in the mid 1950s. This is uh, the temple. The last Polish temple of Ustroni Morski. Oh yeah, pass for the rebar punta. It's Polski bunker. Camp out here, sleep tonight. You can get tetanus and black mold and calcified at the same time. Look at that. Oh, oh hello. There's a normal way of going there. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Keep keep your two meters distance from me. On top of the concrete structure, there is still the shaft where the naval cannon was mounted. By now, long gone. A Cold War relic from Warsaw Pact era Poland, when the country was still heavily under the influence of the Soviet Union. There's another path here. This looks like it was the command center. Or where we were before was one of the battery guns. Ah, indoor tree. And of course, as agreed upon with myself, I did my training. I also ended up introducing Mariska to the heavy art of games. Well, we made it to the gym, that's the first step. That's the moment, eh? Well, you folks. Special moment here, first weights on a squat. Alright, let's 
get you in position. And then a proud, a proud coach moment. All right. Follow your butt down. Core activated. Congratulations. First weighted squat. Yes. Here we got some good post-workout din din. Fresh, beautiful steak. The first, gotta get a shake in. Gotta distract you there for a second from the glorious effort you're uh, undertaking there. Wait. Give you your prize. You've My earned prize. you've earned this My shake. Shake shake. You felt the cold hard steel of the squat and whatnot in your neck, so drink up. Ready? It just tastes like soy milk. What? We have to throw it away. What? There's soy in here. But before it was time to go again, we couldn't leave okay. before trying Poland's oh, wow. most well-known food, mm -hmm. the pierog. Half moon dumplings with all kinds of fillings of your choice. Hey, there's fish again. You think that's about 100 grams again? <laughs> yep, it is. Oh, it does? There it is, yeah, exactly. Next, with uh, spinach. Spinach, yeah, yeah. Spinach and uh, with Genshinak. Yeah, <laughs> she speaks English. I was doing like, hey, what do you mean? Is it cow? Is it chicken? Is it pork? So, Miazem, uh, Mia what kind of meat? Is it pork? Is it uh, beef? Pork, yeah. It's pork. pork yeah. Okay, so I was making farm animals. <laughs> was, my, was a good impression, no? My... No, 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 she did the chicken. She said yeah, the she did too, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kurcha. Kurcha. And pork is? Svinja. Uh, Svinja. Svinja. And beef is? Uh, Vau Vau yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. All right. Now here comes the good stuff. Here we go. Uh, she's actually the one who recognized uh, dumplings. She's been doing her Polish uh, research lately. And she knew, oh, those up there are the dumplings. Because I was only recognizing the hamburgers. Well, let's uh, dig in. <laughs> we got <laughs> pig dumplings. Wow. Mm. Let's try the spinach. It's got cheese in it too. Mm. This is the taste of Poland right here. <laughs> oh no. Oh, you fuck. The chicken. <laughs> I had it like in my hand here, and the chicken just came and, and picked it out of my hand. You son of a bitch! Come here, chicken! <laughs> they know their game. See, this is what happens in areas that can get a bit touristy. The locals just become uh, very pushy, man. Yeah, no. Don't you balk me. You get nothing. I know you. You scheming chicken. <laughs> you like it a motorbike, eh? An interesting week so far, with the longest companionship on the road that I've ever enjoyed. Normally, this is me alone out there in the world, exploring, searching, finding the way. I know a thing or two, three, four, or even five about solitude. And after a few years out there alone, there have been times where I would have liked to share certain moments. But when you travel alone on a motorbike, you need to find out first if the travel companion glove fits. So far, so good. And we ride further up the beautiful Polish coast. See you in the next one. Ciao.